Hello, everybody. Let me tell you a story. A few years ago, in two different parts of the world, there were two philosophers of psychology who had the same thought that there wasn't a textbook in their subject that they were completely happy with. So they had an idea. Maybe we should write such a textbook ourselves, and maybe we should write it together. So today we've got that book. It's called Philosophy of Psychology and Introduction by Kengo Miyazono and myself, Lisa Bortolotti. In the book, we are looking at limitations of human cognitions and human agency. Think about Gina, who goes to yoga practice, and she feels she is a very good, proficient yoga practitioner, but maybe not everybody thinks the same. She wonders, am I self-deceived? Think about Rosa, who has a very important dance exam on Monday morning, but she's tempted not to rehearse as much this weekend and rather do something else, maybe uh, go to the party she's been invited to or relax in the pool. So she's wondering whether she's just being lazy. She's asking, am I weak-willed? And now think about Mark, who is a maths teacher in a primary school. Whenever he asks his students a question that may be perceived as challenging, he notices that he expects the boys in the class to be able to reply, and he does not expect the same from the girls, even if, truth be told, the girls look more engaged. So he's wondering whether he's being biased. And finally, think about Claire and Jimmy, who are at the local park. Claire is relaxing with a snack when she notices this boy, Jimmy, who looks very distressed. Actually, Jimmy has been having paranoid thoughts lately, and he is wondering whether Claire, who he has never seen before, hates him and wants him to go away. Claire would like to go over and help, but she's not sure. Also, she notices a helpful, nice family over there. Maybe they could help instead. All of these beliefs and behaviors that we have been looking at may be considered as imperfect, irrational in some way. Gina, Rosa, Mark, Jimmy and Claire may all have been acted or thought better. But maybe if they read our book, they will understand that there are limitations in human cognitions and agency that can be overcome.